vulnerability scanners have the ability to find vulnerable libraries within your application. But another way that you can check for issues very quickly is to use retired.js plugin for your browser. This is the same plugin you'll find in Burp Suite and OWASP VAP, but there's also a browser plugin version available as well. There's some other versions you can see too here on their homepage and tell you about the different options they have. We're gonna go ahead and use the Firefox extension. So if we go out to the Firefox add-ons page, and then in the search bar, we can search for retire.js and it'll pull up the add-on. You would click on the add-on and go ahead and install it. You can see that I've installed it in my browser and I now have the retire.js icon up here on the icon bar. So once you get it installed, browse to your website. And when you arrive, retire.js will automatically scan the libraries that are on the page and it'll pop up a red square if there are any libraries that are vulnerable. The number inside of the square indicates how many different libraries have found. So in this particular example, we found jQuery 183, and it shows us the name and version of the library, plus the different problems that are associated. So with this information, we can go out to the vendor site, grab a newer copy of the library that's been patched, and install that in our application.